let's talk about Chevy inline six cylinder engine intake and exhaust manifolds, particularly the 230, 250, and 292. So the gray is an intake manifold which mixes fuel and air for combustion inside your engine. Pretty simple. You have a plug here which could be used as a um, vacuum port and a lot of them have a vacuum port here as well. Let's take a look at the underside of this. Let's remove that. There's our exhaust manifold with a big square hole. Let me set this down. All right, so that big square hole, what in the world is that for? Well, there's a gasket that seals the bottom side of the intake manifold to the exhaust manifold. You don't want that gasket leaking or you'll have an exhaust leak around that square. Inside of the exhaust manifold is a flap. The flap is used to divert exhaust fumes. The exhaust fumes coming through this uh, area are directed up towards the bottom of the intake manifold, flow across the bottom of it, and warm it. And then they flow down through the downpipe of the exhaust manifold. That happens during cold temperature operation before the engine has actually warmed up. It is controlled by this weight and this heat activated spring. As the engine warms up, the spring changes uh, its tension and the flap begins to close. The reason it closes is because the weight of gravity turns this weight. Well, when it closes, most of the gases are diverted down towards the downpipe. Minimal gases come up to warm the intake. It's not that you don't want any warming, but you just don't need all of that exhaust warming it. So during cold operation, the flap is vertical during, and, and the weight looks uh, approximately like that. If you have the engine fully warmed up, then the flap is like this. Now, some people delete the plate. They take it out. Well, that does one thing and one thing only. It makes all of the exhaust fumes come up and warm the underside of the intake manifold, which is really not what you want to do during normal temperature engine operation or in hot weather you want most of the exhaust diverted away from it. So if you live in a mild climate, I recommend that you either tack this plate in the down, or the, the, this position where it's mostly horizontal and just uh, leave it like that because you only need to warm your engine for a minute and so this is really kind of obsolete. However, you live in cold temperature areas, well now you have a problem to solve. You have to figure out how to make this operational again or there are other ways to preheat your intake manifold. Um, that's the bulk of how this works. Now, one last thing, I'm gonna show you the underside of this intake manifold. There's the underside. These holes, the rectangles and the squares, do not communicate to the inside of the intake manifold. Instead, they just provide greater surface area for warming of the uh, gas-air mixture. So there's uh, some people who don't understand that that's, that's not a communication uh, issue there. Really, it's just surface area. So there you have it. Uh, air is diverted up by the flap during cold operation. When the engine is warm, the flap turns more horizontal, directing the majority of the fumes down the pipe and less warming. Well, I hope you found something useful out of this and hope it cleared up some questions you may have had.